The sailor's boat landed on a reef and he swam 17 come. To the shore, sharks appeared halfway along the way. An Australian sailor was at sea when suddenly the bottom of his boat hit a reef. He was separated from the shore by 17 kilometers of water, but he had no choice but to overcome this distance by swimming. At some point, sharks blocked his path. John Deere has long dreamed of traveling around the world on a yacht. And in 2019, he began to realize his dream. The man was an experienced navigator. He sailed the seas and oceans for three years. All this time, the situation turned out well for him. Problems began on the route between Colombia and Panama. Jonah had 30 days to complete this part of the route, so he often allowed himself to stop for fishing. That day, he also raised the sails, turned on the autopilot, and went on deck and cast his fishing rod. Soon the bottom of the boat touched the reef and the ship began to quickly go underwater. John was in the water with him. It was unexpected. I realized that I was in the water and my boat, which at that moment was my home and the only safe place, was also quickly going underwater. I knew that the nearest land was 17 kilometers away. I had to swim. And I had not put on a life jacket in advance, and at that moment, I could no longer get to it. John recalls, having independently planned his route, John knew well where to swim to get to the shore. John decided to swim, because this was the only thing that gave him a chance to survive and did not allow him to panic. When it began to get dark, sharks appeared next to the man, and soon he felt light bites on himself, with the help of which the predator seemed to be trying to figure out what was in front of them. I was scared, but mad at the same time. I screamed, kicked, and punched the water. I was exhausted, but I didn't intend to give up. So I did everything possible to scare away the predator. The man describes his emotions. John managed to calm his emotions and continued to swim towards the shore. The sharks didn't attack, but they didn't leave him alone either. Predators swam around, sometimes slightly biting a person. The man decided not to pay attention to the bites, but to concentrate on swimming to the shore. And he soon succeeded. A few days later, rescuers found John's spoon by that time. It had almost completely sunk. The fact that the man managed to get to the shore turned out to be real luck.